Hello, everybody. I hope everybody is having a good start to their Good Friday. Today is Friday, April 15th, 2022, and welcome to our midday devotional time. I hope everybody is having a good start to their day. If you wouldn't mind um, leaving a comment below um, to let us all know that you stopped by, we always enjoy and appreciate that. Um, today I will be in the book of Romans, so if anybody has their Bibles with them and would like to look up the book of Romans, that is where I will be at. And it was so wonderful seeing so many of you um, last night if, um, in person for our Monday and Thursday service. Hopefully we get to see many of you um, again tonight at 7 p.m. in the chapel for our Good Friday service. It's always one of my more favorite services um, of the year, so hopefully you can Join me and everybody else at the chapel at 7 p.m. tonight. Good morning, Pat Tennell. Good to see you. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Barbara and Chris. And good morning, Jack. I hope everybody is having a great start to their Friday and Easter weekend. I know it's a little, some places have Friday off and some don't and schools and Monday. So if you are off today, Congratulations. It's nice to have a little bit of a longer weekend. Good morning, Barbara. So once again, I will be in the book of Romans. So if anybody wants to look that up, I will be in Romans chapter 8, 14 through 17. Um, and then we will have our focus verse for the day, um, our upper room daily devotional and reflection. Well, let us begin. Romans at chapter 8, verses 14 through 17 of the Common English Bible. All who are led by God's spirit are God's sons and daughters. You didn't receive a spirit of slavery to lead you back again into fear, but you received a spirit that shows you are adopted as his children. With this spirit, we cry, Abba, Father. The, sp the same spirit agrees with our spirit that we are God's children. But if we are children, we are also heirs. We are God's heirs and fellow heirs with Christ. If we really suffer with him so that we can also be glorified by him. And our focus verse for today um, is Romans chapter 8 verses 38 through 39 of the NIV. And it reads, Paul wrote, I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angel nor demon, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is Christ Jesus our Lord. And our thought for today is nothing can separate us from God's love. And our devotion today comes from Allison Fritzke of Florida. And these are her thoughts for today. Never alone. As I write these words, the world is facing the COVID-19 pandemic. Millions of people around the world are in quarantine, and many thousands have died. Fearful and confused, people, have, people can be seen racing for cleaning supplies and necessities at the store. But we need to remember in our suffering and times of fear that nothing can separate us from God's love. No matter what trial we face, God's love and care for us will outshine any darkness. God does not promise that we will not face hardships. In fact, the Bible even notes uh, how we will suffer as God's children. Yet the book of Romans tells of our inheritance of God's kingdom and how through troubles uh, will come, we, and although troubles will come, we are promised to share in Christ's glory. Today, when we face darkness, we may feel fear, we may feel fearfulness, worried, or anxious. But each time these emotions arise, we can remind ourselves of who we are. We are beloved children of the creator of the world. We can cry out, Abba, Father, and God listens to our concerns. God is, God is stronger than anything we are facing today. Um, when thinking about today's devotion and knowing that it is um, Good Friday today, um, this, um, as our author states, this um, devotion was originally written um, at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic two years ago, which also fell right um, over um, the Lenten season. Um, we had Ash Wednesday service, 
I think we had one, maybe two services after that, and then everything um, was quite a bit different going forward. Um, I've been at St. John's for almost four years now, um, but this is kind of only my second traditional Easter and everything, so I feel like I'm kind of having to relearn um, everything once again. But when thinking about this um, on this Good Friday, um, Jesus suffered the most just for us. Um, and we know that, and we'll read all of the scriptures um, tonight at our Good Friday service. But Jesus suffered um, in order for us to not have to know the pain of this world because we know that our reward um, is in heaven waiting for us. Um, we should do as much good as we can, just as Jesus did while we are here. Um, but God paid for, or, but Jesus paid for our sins. That's why God sent him, his only son. Um, so in thinking about all of the suffering and the hardships um, that these two past years have specifically brought, um, with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, I also try and think of or highlight some of the good that we have done. Um, when COVID-19 very, very first happened, um, our friends at Neighbor to Neighbor, they still needed food. And we very quickly, we shifted. Um, instead of doing um, our traditional warm meals and everything, we packed hundreds, thousands upon thousands of sack lunches every single week faithfully. All of the groups did them. Um, at first, it was dropping off supplies at other people's houses um, and like leaving them in their driveways and then they would come out. Um, and then um, slowly but surely, we were able to start doing it more in person, but very distanced um, with gloves and masks and everything. Um, we definitely got creative, but we were still able to be there and serve. Um, same way with Baby Grace. Um, I remember in the very beginning, um, the youth and everything being downstairs in the basement, as far apart as we humanly possibly could be, um, wrapping diapers with masks and gloves on and then letting them stay there, I think, for like a week to make sure that, you know, nothing um, COVID-19 wise was on them and everything. Um, so we did. We got creative, but we were still able to serve. Um, in life, we will face hardships and challenges. Um, hopefully we never experience anything like that to its magnitude again, um, but we're able to do that. Um, same way with outdoor worship services um, and drive through communion. Um, not ideal, not how we want to be together as a faith community, um, but we're still able to figure it out and make it work. Um, and I'm very proud of us for sticking together through that. Um, it wasn't just a short two week stint or six week stint. It took a, two years <laughs> um, of faithfully still being there and showing up um, and being patient and kind with one another, knowing that um, this was everybody's first pandemic. There were no experts. Um, we were all trying to figure out how to build this boat at sea um, and we weren't even quite for sure if we were building a boat uh, or what we were doing but we figured it out um, together um, and if that's not showing God's love and kindness and compassion for one another then I'm not quite for sure what it is um, because we did we stuck together and we were able to help serve um, others along the way um, we we're also able to do um, drive or virtual VBSs in HBJ which once again not ideal um, but we were able to do that. Um, and even, um, I love Marilyn Center. I love all of you, but even she um, always mentions to me how her grandkids love to go back and watch those videos from BBS. Um, so just those lasting little impacts um, that you could never quite know what you're gonna do um, along the way. So as we go forth today um, on this Good Friday, um, knowing that we are so happy and joyful that we get to worship um, in person this year, um, kind of like a more traditional sense of an Easter celebration, kind of like what we had back in 2019. Um, I invite everybody to just kind of pause for a moment and just um, have an extra heart of gratitude and thankfulness, not just for Jesus' suffering today, but knowing that um, although we have suffered um, some over these past few years, um, a great celebration awaits for us um, on Sunday, this Easter of 2022. So let us close today in prayer. Dear God, thank you. Thank you that we can come and give our burdens to you. You have power over every fear we have. When we can see, when all that we can see is darkness, we praise you for your ever, never failing light. In your name we pray, amen. And our prayer focus today is for families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19.
So as we end um, today in Good Friday's reflection, um, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day and that I get to see you um, this evening at 7 p.m. in the chapel. Um, and I will see everybody again here tomorrow for our daily devotion time on Saturday. Take such good care. Bye-bye.